Well, here it is, August 29th, opening day of Manitoba's fall bear season. And where did the summer go? I don't know. But uh, I'm in the Duck Mountains in western Manitoba hunting with Tom Ainsworth at Grandview Outfitting, the same place that I hunted last year on opening day, and I said I'm not going to shoot a bear opening day. And then four hours later, I shot a 400-pound booner. So this year, I'm not going to shoot a bear on opening day, probably. Um, it's starting to feel like deja vu all over again because last year I had 20 bears around me in four hours on this hunt, a different stand. But when we came in here, <clears throat> we're getting the stand ready, look up and there's a, there's a yearling cub in a tree up here above me, just uh, two trees away. And the amount of sign around here is just incredible. The, the whole area is just stomped down. There's a small creek about 100 yards from here that we had to cross to come in here and the banks are just pummeled with bear tracks and the grass is smashed down where they're going from the bait down to the water to drink. And uh, there, Tom sent me a trail camera pictures of a bunch of chocolates and black bears and it, it, this thing's just getting absolutely pounded here. So um, he says there's bears in here at all hours of the day and I believe him. So anyway, we got that cub up here. And uh, I got a feeling the sow is real close by. I'm starting to hear, I hear it make noises. So anyway, if you want to see that hunt from last year where I saw 20 bears in four hours on this hunt, um, just do a search on YouTube for 20 bears in four hours and you'll come up with it. And uh, this is feeling like deja vu all over again. So we'll see what happens here.
Well, I can't believe I just did that, but I did it. I mean, that thing is a giant. I think it's bigger than a bear I shot last year, the 400-pound booner. I don't know if it's heads as big, but it's a giant. came in and I just had committed to not shooting a bear tonight. He was the twelfth bear I saw. But when he was up on those barrels, I'm like, oh my gosh, that thing is so big. It looked like a perfect shot. I would really like to hear a death moan, but I'm not hearing it. Yeah, he left, and, I'm, and then when he left, I'm just like, oh my gosh, did I really just pass up a bear that size? I mean, that thing is, I mean, the 400-pounder I shot last year here at this outfitter, I think this one's actually bigger. There was
was four other bears around me when I shot. They were all um, kind of circling when he when he came to the bait. They all gave ground, and uh, but they were all just kind of hanging back in the bush all around me. And uh, when I shot, they also ran off, but they're starting to move back in here real slow. I don't think you brought a big enough trailer. Well, I, I didn't bring my darn saw either. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to shoot a bear tonight. I'm not going to shoot a bear on the first night. And I passed up 11, but number 12, pfft. You, I don't know if you got this bear on. I'm surprised you didn't say something if you got this bear on oh, camera. Have have a look at him. He's a big one. I, there, there's two pretty big bears in there. Uh, this is... This is pretty big. I think it's bigger than the one I got last year. <laughs> the other guy shot a sow, and it weighed 350 pounds. Holy smokes. Oh, it's a damn big. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it didn't go far, so. Okay, great. I hope we get him. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I killed him. I mean. Here's I, the road I was talking about, see? Yeah. Here's blood here. I mean, yeah, he got blood really, here. really good blood. I mean, there's really just... Good blood. I just want to see a big dead bear. Wow. It's just hard to believe he's gone this far. Some other bear did this, you think, huh, Tom? Yes. Just tore his testicles off of him. There's the exit room, right? The exit wound right in the armpit where I thought it would be. It was a perfect shot. I mean, what in the world? This thing, how far did we go? 400 yards? Yes. Holy smokes. How, how could he do that? And there must be two gallons of blood on the trail. So here's my bear and he's a good one. Uh, another giant bear two years in a row here at uh, Grandview Outfitting. Uh, special thanks to Tom Ainsworth and Deb. Boy it's uh, it's just phenomenal the number of bears and the size of bears that you see and also the color phase bears that they have here. And uh, Thanks to Jim for coming in here with us on the recovery effort this morning. We Backed out last night when uh, it became clear that the bear hadn't died immediately like I thought it would with a shot like that. And, uh, you know, the entry looks excellent. The uh, exit wound is right in the right armpit, so, uh, you know, you'd think it'd be a hard shot. But apparently uh, I missed the heart because he went a long ways and he plowed through some nasty stuff. And, man, if we got some work getting him out of here, we're going to have to just quarter him up and haul him out because there's no way to get a four-wheeler way back in here. But, uh, anyway, he is a big bear, and uh, I'm very happy with him. And, uh, it's uh, just another uh, amazing adventure here at, uh, at Grandview Outfitters. Every time I come up here, I'm always, always amazed. So thanks for being along on these hunts with me. I'll tell you what I'm get you to do. You can turn around because I doubt if I even lift it all up on you. I'm not lying. This sound a bit, you're going to see it's going to be heavy. Uh, there you go. That helps. Yeah, get that over there. Hold it. Now I'll get the meat. And that's going over the shoulder. Yeah, all you can. Holy cow! Oh, I told you they got to be a giveaway. Now is that all right? Okay, I I can go. Okay, let them have it. All right, here we go. You just put that camera back in the. Yeah, I will. Here's the lens cap. Put the camera back. How's inside. that for traveling? Not bad. I don't think it'll be too bad. Okay, I'll probably have to stop and rest a few times. 